So when it comes to the Democrats' hypocrisy, nothing should surprise us at this point. We've seen it during the lockdown with masks, with haircuts, indoor dining, one rule for them and another rule for everyone else. Yet here we are again. Just look at this. Kamala Harris violating her own ethics pledge by keeping her assets hidden in a tax-advantaged family trust after campaigning alongside Joe Biden to close exactly these loopholes in an effort to increase transparency. Of course, they only actually meant that for Republicans and other political rivals, not for themselves. Jason Chaffetz is back. What do you make of this one? Oh, come on, Steve. Just because you make an ethics <laughs> pledge, you're now the vice president of the United States. You don't need to do that. And you know how busy Kamala Harris is. She's down visiting the southern border. <laughs> She's answering questions from the media about what's happening with their immigration crisis. She doesn't have time to actually disclose things that are required and that they promised they weren't going to do. Come on, Steve. It is just, I know, it's just, like I said, we shouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's just on and on. Here's another one for you, which I just thought actually, you know, that the, the Kamala Harris one, okay, it's personal, whatever. This one actually gets to policy, and it's something a lot of people have been incredibly concerned about. So here's Biden cancelling pipelines in America because climate, but he's fine when it's Putin's pipeline, um, and now we know why. Lobbying. We've had, was it a million dollars lobbying effort just in a couple of months to push for the um, ending of sanctions that President Trump put in on Putin's pipeline? It was hours into the Biden-Harris presidency that canceled the, uh, the Keystone Pipeline because they said they wanted to save the planet. But when it comes to Putin and his pipeline, oh, yeah, thumbs up. Let's go for it. Let's give you all the approval you need and make sure that you can do that. that it is such hypocrisy. And some of those people that were lobbying, oh, they just happened to be donors to the Biden campaign, and they just happened to be donors to the Biden super PAC. I'm sure that's just a coincidence, too, Steve. I mean, it's just, you know, the, 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 this is what's so disgusting about it, is that, that they, they sort of lecture us endlessly about democracy and values and all the rest of it, and then they behave like this. First time they had an ethics violation under the Biden administration, they said, you can't disparage any of the media or we're going to be fired immediately. Deputy press secretary does that, and then they don't fire him. I mean, it, the media here, though, doesn't treat it fairly. They don't call balls and strikes. They don't hold these people accountable. Donald Trump provided 100 percent of the financial requirements, and yet you would have think he violated the law, but he didn't. Here, Kamala Harris isn't even living up to the ethics standard that she promised she was going to do. Exactly. Well put. And then the final part of it, of course, is that their servants in the media couldn't care less and don't cover it at all. But we always do. Thanks, tonight. Thanks for being with us tonight.